So my experience with cancer was definitely one that I'll never forget. Um, at that moment in time, it was probably the lowest point of my life. And when I was going through that experience, I really questioned my faith. I questioned my future. I questioned whether I was going to survive or not. I was diagnosed when I was 24, so cancer didn't run in the family, so it was very new. And it was a time where COVID was barely coming up. It was being heard of, um, scary virus, you know, killing people. And so on top of going through the chemotherapy, it really added another fear factor um, when I was going through that experience. And when I look back at it now, it was probably the most beneficial experience that I've ever been through in my life. I learned a lot of lessons through that. Uh, but during the time, I couldn't see it. I was blinded by fear, by anxiety, by depression. During COVID, it was a lonely time for everybody. You know, everybody stayed at home, isolated. And for me, it was kind of the same thing, but severely isolated where, you know, I spent my birthday in my room. I couldn't see my parents as often. I went to my treatments alone. And again, being 24 and, 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 and very new to all of it, it was, it was very hard, it was very hard. But what I learned from it is something that no one can teach. And the mentality that I gained from that experience is completely different. I think cancer was a blessing in disguise. And I wouldn't be the person I am today if I didn't go through that experience. And so at that lowest point in my life, I kind of had an awakening when one of my doctors prescribed me uh, depression medication. And when I was looking at the um, bottle and it had my name on it, it kind of like slapped me in the face. You know, I was always a person that was positive. I was a person that was healthy, was super high with nutrition and physical activity. Before I was diagnosed, I was a 2019 national champion in football and CAA, outside linebacker. And, you know, I was in the best shape of my life. So when I got hit with this, it was like really a blindside. It taught me a lot in a sense to where when I was at that lowest point, when I picked up the medication bottle, when I saw my name on it, I realized that I was depending on medication to keep me happy or to keep me aligned. And that's something I never believed in. So it kind of just woke me up in a way to where I had to do something different. I had to figure out a way out. So when I was going through that experience of severe anxiety, depression, and questioning God and questioning the faith that I had, it led me to the weird obsession of wanting to know the truth about life, about what is life? What are we as homo sapiens? Why did I get cancer? What created it? You know, it didn't run in the family, so it wasn't something that expected or had any chance. And so with that weird obsession and wanting to know the truth, I spent a lot of time alone reading books about God, about the universe, about anything really that would give me those answers of what is life. And it led me to these amazing authors that changed my life completely. I was reading Joe Dispenza, Joseph Murphy, Napoleon Hill, David Hawkins. These are superhumans that were highly conscious and gurus in, in spirituality or health and wellness and longevity. So I was reading books about the mind, the body, and the soul and really learning about life. And all that time I spent alone in my room, I was really just trying to reverse engineer my mind from thinking all the negative things that I was when I was going through my sickness or at least chemotherapy. So today, my life has completely flipped upside down. I am where I want to be. I am who I want to be. And I don't think I would have gotten here if I wasn't for that experience. I think the main things that I learned were really understanding the process of how reality takes place. Your thoughts turn into emotions that then turn into actions. So if you really think about that, it starts from a thought. And when I was able to realize that, I picked up the habit of being really aware of what I was thinking. I think one piece of advice I can give you guys, it would be to invest into yourself. Invest into your mind, invest into your body, and invest into your soul. You want to be able to be happy internally, so externally, the environment you're around, the experience you have, they're beautiful. 
I think some basic things you can do to stay away from anxiety, depression, and disease is being on a healthy diet, staying active, reading, writing, meditating, uh, and of course, exercise. Make this a priority in your life. Make yourself a priority before work, before family, before anything, because at the end of the day, you can have everything, and if you're not internally happy or healthy, then none of that matters.